eggs and beans casserole. Beanie Weenie, that's my favorite. Could, 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 could you not do that in front of me, please? Well, it's a little hard to stop once I get started. This is great. You know, if Mom could have cooked like this, I bet Dad would have married her. And for dessert, we get to watch this. Green Acres? Dinner and a show? This is so cool. You love Green Acres, don't you? Yeah. I want to be buried in Hooterville. I can arrange that. Really? How? Well, I'm from there. Well, not actually. I'm, a I'm actually from Mayberry, but I had to leave after the big scandal. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, me and Otis used to get drunk together every day. Yeah. No, you didn't. I would have seen you. It was a very small town. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of an accident did you say Marge had? Oh, don't get your panties all in a pucker. She'll be fine. You just eat, and I'm going to go draw your bath. Bath? It's not Saturday. It is in Hooterville. Come in. Mr. Thomas, I'm Otto from security. We just found your cook, Marge, tied up in a closet on the Seinfeld set. Seinfeld? Yes, sir. It's kind of a wry, observational comedy dealing with contemporary <laughs> urban relationships. Man, it sounds awful. Anyway, your cook said that some strange woman was responsible. We're looking for her now. Well, as a matter of fact, there's a strange woman with a big knife in the bathroom. Maybe she knows who tied up Marge. <laughs> this might be a long shot, but it could be the same woman. <laughs> She's gone. Damn. And she made the best beanie weenie in the whole world. Well, she can't have gotten far. I'll deploy some men to search the area. In the meantime, you read this. What the hell's this? It's a sample script I wrote for your show. <laughs> you see, it's about this security guard. Listen, buddy, I... How many scenes am I in? <laughs> talked to Jack and he said when he got home last night that strange woman was in his driveway simonizing one of his cars. Really? Gotta get me one of them there stalkers. <laughs> well, we made the trades. Blacko <laughs> stops, Jacko talks. <laughs> and the network couldn't be happier. You know, if she doesn't actually kill him, our ratings are gonna skyrocket. <laughs> and if she does kill him, well, hey, T. The drinks are on me. I assume you're here for a reason, Doug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way down to Jackie's dressing room. I want to get his signature on a couple of things, just in case, you know, God forbid, something should happen to the man. I want to tie up those movie of the week rights. I just talked to him a minute ago. He was going down to the stage for the network photo shoot. No, no, there's no photo shoot. No, there, there isn't. I should know. I mean, they let me back into the meetings. <laughs> Call security, have him meet us on the set. <laughs> Where the hell is everybody? I'm not supposed to be early. I'm the star. Surprise! Oh, oh is that you, psycho lady? <laughs> Why do you keep bugging me? Well, I was sent here by God. <laughs> if you don't believe me, you can ask him yourself. He's right here. Hi, Jackie. Security, get down to stage nine right away, please. Hello? 
It's a prop phone. <laughs> God, you're so funny. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hey, keep watching the show. <laughs> but see, I'm here on a mission from God, and I can't go back to Hooterville unless I fulfill it. Listen, lady, for your own good, you better get the hell out of here. There's going to be a network photo shoot here. Oh, I love you, Jackie. I know you better than anybody in the whole damn world. And, and you know what? I'm really starting to like you, too. Oh, Jackie. You're such a bad actor. Damn. You do know me. Jackie, are you all right? Yeah. Take her away. No, no it doesn't matter where he takes me, Jackie. I'll, I'll be back, as God is my witness. Uh, why, why don't you just shoot her and put a knife in her hand and say it was self-defense? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's just arrest her and let the courts decide. Okay. I'll be back, Jackie. I've got your scent. Oh, I'm really scared. Ooh, I'll be back. Ooh, I've got your scent. Oh, she... Hey, make sure she doesn't get a hold of any of my dirty socks. My stalker made bail. <laughs> and I'm missing a sock, so, uh... I'm gonna sleep here tonight. She'll never find me. <sighs> Jackie, why don't you get some more security? I did. I hired a whole bunch of guys here at my house now. I told them to shoot anybody that comes up the driveway. <laughs> now I can't go home. <laughs> well, sweet dreams. Thanks. Good night, Jackie. Good night, Jackie. Hey! It's not funny, Jerry. Try to get some sleep. The window must have blown open. Thank God my escape ladder's still there. give you what you deserve, Jackie Thomas. He loved living on the edge. Now he's taking the chance of a lifetime. Free's a human being. Think he's dead? I lost someone close to me. That's why I left. Critics call Forever Young the season's most irresistible romance. A magical adventure, a heart grabber that lifts the spirit. Mel Gibson, Forever Young, rated PG. Starts Wednesday, December 16th at a theater near you. The new Nissan Altima comes equipped with liquid-filled engine mounts that significantly reduce vibration and engine noise. Hey, haven't I seen this before? And while you've seen a demonstration like this done for a luxury car before... I thought so. You've never seen it done for one that starts at $13,000. That's refreshing. The new Nissan Altima. It's time to expect more from a car. Introducing Capio. Iced cappuccino, new from Maxwell House. Capio Mocha, a splash of chocolate flavor. Capio Cinnamon, an unexpected twist. Capio Coffee, smooth and refreshing. So many tastes, so little time. New Capio, the thrill is the chill. Braun introduces Flex Control, the first electric shaver with a pivoting head. Flex Control automatically adjusts to every contour of your face. 
under the chin, under the lip, that tricky spot under your nose. You'll get the closest brawn shave yet. Flex control from brawn. The last word in shavers. Why freeze your buns? When you can holiday in paradise. I'm supposed to leave in a couple of days. Could I borrow some sugar? Uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. Going to extremes next. She's looking for something she lost 17 years ago. The only family that I have. Torn from her parents, set down in another world. Her incredible search is something you'll never forget. A powerful 2020 Friday. seen enough. Let's go get security. Oh, hi. <laughs> Are you hungry? There's plenty to eat in the bathroom. <laughs> oh my God, Jerry, not only has she killed him, she's eating him. <laughs> oh, like you never ate anybody. <laughs> you guys to officially meet Regina. That's Jerry and that's Laura. I smell your fear. <laughs> you guys have a lift. You've done it in a jacuzzi full of beanie weenie. <laughs> hey, you want some? No. Thank I'll you. get you some to go. And I do mean to go. <laughs> Be honest, guys. What do you think of her? I like her. Jackie, she's a lunatic. She thinks that her finger is God. Laura, a person's religion is their own business. I've never met a woman like her. I have a feeling she'd follow me anywhere. Jackie, she's a stalker. That's what stalkers do. They follow you, then they kill you. Oh, man, you got the wrong idea about her. She's not one of them dangerous stalkers. She's a fun stalker. You know, she's smart, she's funny. We got a lot in common. It's like we share one brain. Well, who's got it right now? <laughs> Laura, look, I, I, Jackie's happy, so we should be very happy. so poopy, but you're welcome to squeeze the trigger. Isn't he cute? He looks just like Fievel the Little Mouse. Fievel the Little Mouse. Fievel the Little Mouse. Fievel the Little Mouse. And you were worried. the incident in the parking lot? Regina got in a fight with the guy from Coach. She wanted Jackie to have his spot, but the guy wouldn't move, so she rammed him out of the way. You still think that uh, she's good for Jackie? Well, yeah, listen, he's, he shows up for work. He hasn't fired anybody in two days. I, 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 I think we really should give Stinky and Poopy our blessings. Hey, hey, guys, check this out. They say we're young and we don't know. We won't find out until we grow. <laughs> Delightful, Jackie. Hey, it'll be great on the show, too, man. Regina's got a whole lot of other good ideas, and too. Jackie thinks that you should listen to me. So, sit down, Jackie. <laughs> well, okay, uh, okay. Um, well, I think that Jackie should be a baseball player on the show, because baseball players are so funny, you know? And uh, I think he, I think he should be called Stinky on the show, and, and he, he should always bat fourth. <laughs> Uh... Poopy.
poopy. Yeah, I call you poopy. No, nobody but Stinky can call me poopy. Oh, I'm sorry, Regina. You know, baseball players uh, are out of town a lot, and this is a family show. Well, I know. That's why he should divorce Helen. Or, or better yet, he should, he should get some great big rat, you know, that's been starved for about three days and then put it in a box and then tape it to her body and then take this great big old red-hot poker and just shove it through the box until the terrified rat has to, you know, burrow its way through her abdominal cavity to get into her stomach. And then as the crazed rat twists and winds its way up her esophagus, he can pause briefly, only long enough to devour her pea-sized brain. And then, see, then, um, I could be his wife. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, my little stalker. I think I'll keep her. Regina, obviously, you have a handle on the show and a good eye for comedy. Um, I'm just curious, why Jackie? Well, I talked to a lot of people on the TV screen, but Jackie's the only one that ever talked back. <laughs> you know, like last week, he told me I should kill my cat. So I did. <laughs> Ain't you, Pistol? <laughs> hey, what am I thinking now? Uh, nothing. Damn, she can read my mind. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I'm bored. Let's go, Stinky. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're a lovely couple, Jerry. What are you gonna get them for a wedding present? A chainsaw? Well, we know she could use a new cat. <laughs> well, I, I'll, I'll try to convince them that she's nuts, but I don't think I could make it any clearer than she just did. <laughs> Someone very special to me in tonight's audience, and I'd like to introduce her, my stalker. Put them together for her. Do you really know Jackie Thomas? No, Em. I'm carrying his beans. <laughs> I thought that you were going to talk to Jackie. Well, I tried. But I think it would be easier to convince her that he's nuts. <laughs> What do you have to do? Hit him over the head with it? Maybe. Uh. Sophie. Sophie. Yeah? Listen, I want you to change a little piece of business. You know, at the end of this scene when Jackie gives you the flowers, uh -huh. I want you to uh, kiss him. Oh, J Jerry, please don't make me do that. Now, the last time I kissed him, I got those odd blisters. <laughs> We'll take you out of the bedroom scene next week. It's a deal. <laughs> I promise I'll never lie about playing poker with my buddies again. And son, I'm sorry I lost your college money. That's okay, Dad. College is for losers. It's like, there's only 85 bucks. <laughs> well, you're not getting off so easy with me, mister. Not even if I give you these? Jackie, Jackie, she's obviously a lunatic. Maybe, maybe you should have her committed. Committed? For breaking up a taping, Jerry? I do that all the time. You want to have me committed? Uh... Hey, listen, buddy. Don't worry about it, man. I know how to handle her. Mom was the same way. <laughs> hey, what's the deal with all the candles? Oh, I wanted it to be romantic. Oh, cool. For a minute, I thought you were turning weird on me. <laughs> Well, I know I, I probably got a little overly emotional during the taping, but the thought of you and that cheap blonde just makes me want to gouge out her eyes and eat her face. That is so cute. You, you're jealous. 
guess it was tonight that it just became clear to me, Jackie, that you, you never really could be mine. At least... <laughs> lifetime. So here, let's drink to a better life in a better place. Okay. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This is champagne. So? So? Honey, I'm an alky. Last time I drank, I got this tattoo. And I'm not even Jewish. <laughs> Listen, why don't you polish those off? I'm going to keep myself a prune smoothie. <laughs> You know what I'd really like to see, Jackie? I'd really love to see you bench press all this weight. I really shouldn't. I just had a prune smoothie. <laughs> oh, please, Jackie, please. I just love it when your triceps get all veiny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never actually done 320 pounds before. I'll spot you. Okay. <laughs> okay, now'd be a good time to start spotting me. <laughs> what are you doing? God's work. <laughs> he gave me a new mission. He wants me to kill you. Oh, no, he doesn't. God wouldn't do that to me. Yes, I would. <laughs> Yes, I would! If you kill me, you'll spend the rest of your life in prison. Not if I plead insanity. Nobody's gonna believe that. They will after I cut off your ears and your feet. Okay, that'll do it. Please don't kill me. Listen, I'm too young and rich to die. My show gets a 27 share. I'm number one with males 18 to 25. Thanks, guys. How did you know I was going to be in trouble? Well, the credits are good, Otto. Yeah, I just remembered how she kept saying, I'm going to kill him, I'm going to kill him, I'm going to kill him. And I thought I should tell somebody. Why? Because if killing you is wrong, I don't want to be right. I'll never forget you, poopy. Oh, yes, you will. You'll start talking to somebody else through the TV screen. No, a man never forgets his first stalker. Look. <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? It's my photo from my driver's license. <laughs> Look, there's a big hair on my forehead. <laughs> Goodbye, Poopy. <laughs> Goodbye, Stinky. <laughs> well, hang in there, big guy, huh? Jerry? Yeah. You don't know how great it was to have a woman totally obsessed with me, who made me the center of her world and who painted my name in blood on my bathroom wall. Yeah. There'll be other stalkers. Yeah, but she was special. We have to get up so early and ride.
Good news, guys. The stalker's locked up at the nut barn. She uh, bit off her doctor's nose, but it's his own fault for taking her off solid food. Well, at least she's out of your life forever. Well, uh, till next Friday, anyway. I invited her and the whole hospital gang down on the taping. <laughs> well, here's this week's script. Otto, the guard, wrote it. It sucks, but he did save my life. No, 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 no. What about Grant's script? I, I just read it. It's great. It doesn't need any rewriting at all. <laughs> Perfect. Nice try, Jerry. Always trying to get out of work, buddy. Better make it good. Expecting a big crowd. Most of those patients have more than one personality. 